So let's look at some of the uh, so let's look at some of the options for putting an arrowhead or some sort of marker on the end of a stroked path. I've got a stroked path here, and this is my stroke panel. Doesn't look like much is there, but when I click, I choose show options. And these are all the options for stroke, so I recommend keeping all the options open. Down here is where you'll see arrowheads. And if I click over on this one, you can see all the different types of arrows which I'm scrolling through. Now, the original poster wanted a bullet at the end of the arrow. So if I choose number 21, that's the arrow bullet. So I have that here. Now, I also have the ability to scale the arrows on either side. In this case, I'm going to scale this up just a little bit. And it's a very, very subtle difference, but you can see on the left here how the bullet gets bigger and bigger. I can also swap left and right. I also have the ability to click and put the bullet to be aligned at the center, the center of the bullet aligned with the end of the path, or to have the end of that bullet aligned with the path. Now, that would also work with arrowheads. So this is the easy way to make a bullet at the end of a path. I can also click and at any point change this to any one of the other arrowhead or custom ideas. The original poser wanted to have something with a plus sign or any kind of very, very custom thing. So what I'm going to do here is come back and change this to none. And then I'm going to move this stroke out of the way and I'm going to get a piece of text. All right, well, what I've done now is I've created a little text, a uh, point text with a plus sign in it. I'm going to take my type on a path tool and I'm going to copy this. And then with the type on a path tool, I'm going to click. You can see that big blinking cursor and then paste. Now this has gone over the edge. So what I have to do here is you see these two little lines? I've gone to my selection tool and what I have to do is drag the line over. These are the indents for that text. So here's my text, my little plus sign, and these are the two indents. Now the plus sign is at the wrong end of the stroke. So what I'm going to do here is just do Command Shift R. And now it's a right alignment on the stroke. I'll move this ever so slightly so I get my plus sign all the way over and I can move this plus sign out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I need this plus sign to be lowered and rotated. Fortunately, Illustrator has a really handy tool. This is the touch type tool. Now, if you don't see yours, it's because you don't have your uh, tools panel set for the uh, advance. So, You want to take your toolbar from basic and move it up to advanced. In this case, though, I'm going to take my touch type tool and touch the type. And you can see I've got all the things I need. I've got boxes with uh, control points and I've got a little rotation point here. 
So what I'm going to do is drag this down. That's what I said, drag it down. And then I'm going to rotate it. And then I can drag it over. And now I have my little plus sign at the edge of the stroke line. Unfortunately, the stroke line lost its stroke as soon as I pasted the path, uh, the text onto the path. So what I want to do is select this item and then come over to the color. I could do this with the stroke on my uh, tools panel. But basically, all I want to do is click on Stroke and then click Black. And I now have a black stroked path with this plus sign. I can also, though, take a text tool and make this bigger. I will need the touch up tool again, touch type, not touch up, touch type. And move this down. But you can see here, I've got a built-in bullet, a built-in square, or use any piece of text on the edge of a path pasted onto the path as a very custom arrowhead.